Hi guys, welcome back. It's Lisa. Today I've got another Dollar Tree um, DIY for us and we're going to be making a beautiful glam centerpiece and it's going to be a mercury glass centerpiece. So what we'll need is some of these gemstones and you can pick these up at either Walmart or you can pick them up at your local Dollar Tree. They'll be on a sheet about half the size of this one. You'll need some hot glue or tacky glue, scissors, tape, you're going to need florals of your choice. It doesn't have to be white flowers like I have here. And you'll need to cut the stems down to about that length. You're going to need some of this mercury glass or you're going to need some of this mirror effect spray paint. So you'll need that. In this bottle, I have just vinegar. Typically, you can mix this with about 50-50 vinegar, 50 water. And then that way you can use this to give the antique look to your mirror finish to give it the mercury glass look. I just have vinegar though, so it's up to you. I have a couple of these little plastic napkin rings from Dollar Tree that come in a pack of six. And then you'll need one of these little styrofoam balls that come in a pack of three at Dollar Tree. You're going to need some of this bling on a roll or diamond wrap, candlestick, and also one of these. Uh, votive holders or some people refer to them as like a little fishbowl either one you'll need that I think I said you need tape and so these are the items that you're going to need in order to create this centerpiece so let's get started okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and tape off um, where I don't want any of this um, mirror effect spray paint to touch. So now that I have this all taped off on the outside, typically I like to paint on the inside of glass if at all possible, but I want to allow myself some flexibility with this piece. I want to be able to use fresh flowers so I want to be able to add water inside here. So I'm going to be painting on the outside this time. But I've got it all taped off. So I'm going to be taking it outside and turning it upside down like this. And uh, I tell you what, I think I, instead of taking it outside, I'm going to uh, take it in here and paint it so you guys can see me using this mercury glass paint and also let you see me using the vinegar and water solution to create the mercury glass effect. And for this one, I'm simply going to be spraying the mercury glass paint on the inside here. Okay, so as you can see, we've gone ahead and completed our mercury glass effect on that. Isn't it gorgeous? I think it's just beautiful. So while this is completely drying, I'm going to sit it over here. And um, we're going to go ahead and start addressing the base. And as you can see, I sprayed this on the inside. Um, so we'll go ahead and start um, adding some gemstones and things like that to this while we're waiting on the globe portion to dry. Add as much or as little as you'd like. And I'm just continuing to add more gemstones here. I 
and how beautiful that is. And now that we're done with that, we're just going to put this off to the side and get started um, diamond wrapping this little um, plastic napkin ring. Now that this mercury glass portion of the vase is done, uh, it's done drying, so I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it upside down like this, and then I'm gonna start adding some of the gemstones to this as well. How beautiful is that? Isn't that gorgeous? Such a beautiful vase. And since we painted it on the outside, now I can use some actual real flowers on the inside if I choose to do that. Like if you decide to do this for a wedding um, and you decide to do these right now in the center of a table and you just want to put one single beautiful flower in there that would be really like a hydrangea in there. Wouldn't that be beautiful to put a hydrangea in there? A real one? It'd be just gorgeous. And so what we're going to do now is right around here where you see this mercury glass, we're going to go around that edge with a roll of diamond wrap as well. Okay, and I'm just finishing out this top edge with some of the gemstones as well. Again, most of this is optional. It depends on how glammy of a look you want to go for. Um, I say if it's for a wedding or something, just go all out. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this little um, ball here. I'm just going to start inserting them on the side like this. And what this is going to do is create like a little shelf that sits on the top of the vase. So you just want to go around the sides towards the bottom of this little styrofoam ball. Okay, so the only thing left to do is just to get this assembled. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bead of hot glue right on the top here. Just like that. And then just center this right on top of it. Add just a little gentle pressure. And now I'm going to add a tea light to this. I'm going to put a tea light down inside here give it a little glow and then just put the arrangement right on top. Well there you have it guys. A simple beautiful glam DIY project. I hope you guys will give this an easy DIY a try. I'd like to thank each of you for stopping by Cozy Casita. You're always welcome. If you like these kinds of DIYs Share them with your friends, and also if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the future uploads, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.